Hey guys, it's Mountain Dog Companion here again doing another really cool video talking about our Bernese Mountain Dogs and our Bernadoodles that we have here. Uh, these are a few that we do have available currently and I'm sitting here with Joe and his son Braden and we're just here out doing some photography, pictures, uh, socialization, doing some FaceTimes with our customers and then here doing a YouTube video. So we want to talk about the two differences and just introduce these three again and uh, hopefully give you guys some good contact, content to watch. And if you do enjoy it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button after the video and give the video a like. But let's get right into the video, guys. So, Joe, who, who do we have here with us today? We have Maddie and Max, the Bernadoodles that are in your lap. Yeah. And then we have Penny, the Bernese Mountain Dog, in my lap. She's an older one. She's about 12 weeks old. Yeah. But uh, your Bernadoodles are, uh, I think they're roughly about 10 weeks old, maybe, something yeah. like that. So, yeah, we'll I'll let you talk about the Bernadoodles real quick. And then we'll talk about the Bernese as well. Yeah. Yep, so this one here was Max. This one here is Maddie. Uh, it's a hot summer day here. We're just out playing in the shade. And I would say Maddie definitely has a little bit more personality to her. She's been playing around, running around. Now she's getting a little bit tired. Uh, Max is just as playful, friendly um, as Maddie's. They have the really nice tri-colored markings that you're looking for in a Bernadoodle. So very happy with that. These are F1, so they're 50-50. Half Bernese Mountain Dog, half uh, Poodle. So they're going to be around 30 to 35 pounds. They're not going to be the, the tiny, tiny ones, but the nice, playful size where you can still hold them, but also, um, you know, go on little runs or jogs with you if you like to see your jogger or like to go on walks. They're not going to be too small to wear. You know, they're just going to be uh, basically going to have to carry them. So they're really good for the family. Um, really healthy breed and definitely a really good companion for the family. I would say overall non-shedding. Very little, you can't say they're 100% non shedding, but very little to no shedding. And yeah, that's just a little overview on the two here. Again, very, very friendly. They're gonna bond with your family right away, as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and talk about Penny, Joe. Yeah, Penny is the uh, 12 week old Bernice. Uh, she's a, a sister of uh, five total, but uh, Poppy went home already the other day, so uh, Poppy found a home. But Penny, she again is about 12 weeks old. Very, very laid back and uh, you know loves to cuddle, loves to play. But her markings, her her tan points on her legs are really, really good. And if you look at her face, she has some good tan points on her eyebrows and on her jaw here. She's just laid back, chill right now. And then she has a nice, uh, nice tan here all the way up her leg and on her back hind legs as well. And she's yes, I know. And then you got a little bit of white as you can see underneath here. Uh, but she is very healthy, ready to go home, so we are excited to have her here. And of course her four other sisters, three other sisters now as well. So, yeah. so Joe, would you say personality-wise that's probably the biggest difference between a Bernadoodle and a Bernese Mountain Dog? Yeah, Bernadoodles are going to be excited, happy, like you see there in Tyler's <laughs> lap. The Bernese Mountain Dog is going to be a more laid-back, more calm breed. Yeah. Uh, but they are going to get quite a bit bigger. That's so, the other biggest difference. Yeah, yeah they're, they're the going size. to get quite a bit bigger. As you can see, they're just being lazy on a lazy hot day here and, and resting. But uh, the Bernese are going to get upwards of 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, the Bern uh, Bernadoodles are going to be 30 to 35. So quite a bit different. If you're looking for a big breed, the Bernese is a breed that you'd want to go with. A smaller breed, but you still have a little bit of that Bernese in. Uh, and then you get the hypoallergenic with the Bernadoodles, so, yep. and a little bit smaller. So yeah, those are the differences in the breeds. And I'd say like the Bernadoodles are gonna still be less energetic, hyper, high strung than say a Golden Doodle. Um, that's why a lot of people do like the Bernadoodles because they do get the characteristics of a Bernese Mountain Dog. So definitely something to consider. They're not gonna be too hyper allergenic. They don't, they aren't really too big of biters. Like you can see they're not, you know, that's another nice thing. They're not biters. Like I'd say some other breeds like maybe an Aussie Doodle or Golden Doodle. Uh, so they're just a really good family dog. Both of these are just a size and so forth. So I mean, Penny is ready to go to new home. You can tell she is going to be a sweetheart. That's for sure. She is laid back. Looks like she's about ready to fall asleep in my arms right here, which is really cool. So yep. MountainDogCompanion.com, guys, is where you need to go and get more information on the parents, uh, age, price. Check that out first. I see you're going to get a lot of information there. Then you can go ahead and give Joe a call. Um, anytime throughout the week yeah, he'll get back to you if he's busy with family or whatever but definitely go there first and give us a call if you're interested in these guys along with we have some other um, friendly little puppies as well and feel free to comment below guys what you think about you know would you rather have a Bernese or a Bernadoodle what do you feel if you have any questions about the series let us know in the comments below and we'll be more than welcome to have, answer those for you so thanks Joe and hopefully 
Uh, you'll get some calls on these soon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, reach out to me, guys. You can email me as well, mountaindogcompanion at gmail.com or my phone number, 330-621-3917. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you again real soon.